Hi, this is Brian Stack from Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Welcome to showbizmonkeys.com. Around this town, I'm all Okay, so I'll just get right into it here. Um, okay, so uh, starting a little ways back, growing up near Chicago, yeah, uh, well known for years as a hotbed of comedy, especially sketch and improv with Second City and Improv Olympic. Uh, were you drawn to comedy at a young age? I always loved comedy. I never really uh, imagined myself doing it as much uh, until I kind of kind of fell into it through doing improv. It was sort of like a surprise to me when I discovered improv. Oh. And um, I, But I was always a huge comedy fan, yeah. you know, growing up, uh, Monty Python and SCTV, and Peter Sellers, and, you know, lots of other things okay. that people of that generation grew up with. And um, But I, I kind of fell into it. Um, when I discovered improv, it was sort of like, it, I just took a class and it was like an exercise one day, and it was okay. just sort of like, I just had no idea you know, how much fun it was until I actually tried it one day. <laughs> right, and then you immediately... Yeah, this was just so much fun, and I just kind of uh, got into it for fun initially, and then kind of it led to other things later, but it was initially just because, you know, it, we weren't doing it for any money or anything. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, I did it first in Madison, Wisconsin, then started doing it in Chicago after I finished school. And okay. So, oh, yeah. so even though you grew up in Chicago, you started away from Chicago. Yeah, you strangely started. enough, it's kind of, I, and I feel lucky that I, that going back home after school was going back to Chicago because I've always admired people that moved to Chicago to do improv yeah. or to do, and because I think it takes a lot of guts and stuff, and I, I like to think I would have done that anyway, <laughs> right. but I really don't know. Like, I, I had the the good luck of almost being there anyway, and yeah. that's probably where I would have been working anyway oh, yeah, for my well, day that, job. That worked out quite well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was kind of lucky, so... Well, moving on to the stuff you did in Chicago, uh, obviously a lot of live sketch comedy and improv. Uh, you worked with Improv Olympic in Chicago and later toured with Second City, right? Yeah, I was in the touring company for two years and then I was in the resident company for two years where you, like the touring company goes wherever they send you yeah. all over the country and then um, eventually uh, ended up in one of the companies that just kind of stays there during the week and okay. does, does shows there. So you got to stay there for a couple of years. Yeah, although touring, I. I gotta say, like, even though it was technically considered a promotion to get to the resident company, I think I had some of my most fun times touring. Right. It was, it, it was really a lot of fun just going. Is it, is it basically comedy. like being in a rock band, only doing comedy, or is it? It, you know, I've always fantasized about being in a band, and like, um, but I think it probably was. It probably had a similar feel to being in kind of an indie band in the sense that you were in a band and uh, yeah. you didn't. You were just sort of all together in a van, and it wasn't. Um, it wasn't fancy, but it was a lot of fun, and it was just sort of like, just, you know, basically just, um, you're, you're around each other 95% of the time, it's, it's off stage, so, yeah. and I was lucky enough to work with people that I just loved traveling with, so. Which is always really good. helpful. Yeah, including my future wife, Miriam. Oh, okay, so you met, <laughs> met her then? Well, actually, I knew her, um, before we worked in Second City, but we, we worked in, um, a group that several of us got hired into Second City okay. from, um, including Kevin Dorf, who works here yeah. now, and and uh, Rachel Dratch had been in that group and some okay. other people, but like it was just sort of, but and then I was lucky enough to work with her at Second City. Too, right. Which is nice. So, um, w what kind of advice would you give to uh, young improvisers out there who probably don't think it's something they can turn into a career? Because you've obviously turned it into a career on television writing. Oh yeah, I've been lucky enough to. Although I gotta say, all the people I know who have come out of improv and ended up working, and you know having the good luck to work in TV or whatever, yeah. um, they seem to have been the the kind of people that that they were hoping it it might be a means to an end, but they really enjoyed it so much that, that it was an end in itself too. And and I think that's the reason they, I think that showed in their work, and they they just had. I think you can always tell when a group is having a good time. And right. You can always tell when performers are enjoying themselves. Like I would tell people, you know, um, I'm reluctant to give it any advice because there's so many different ways to oh, uh, yeah. find your find your way. Or uh, but um, I would tell people that if, if you if you kind of follow your gut feeling for what you think yeah. you'd enjoy doing most, 
then you're on the right track. Like if if that's stand up, you, know, you can do stand up. Um, if it's writing exclusively, that's great. It, yeah. if, it, if it's improv, and because I think you get you get better faster when you're having a good time, and like people here at our show come from such different backgrounds. Right. Some some came out of writing, some came out of stand up, some came out of improv. So I think it's um there's just a lot of different ways to to get into this. Okay. And, yeah, but but I think uh, but improv I think is great. If, if that is your thing, I think it's a great uh, a great training ground for for writing and for you know performing in this kind of environment because it, it, a lot of it feels very improvisational and yeah collaborative. Oh, for sure. You know, so I mean, I know it's not a big surprise, but <laughs> yeah. like, it's definitely just um, I learned a lot in improv that I still use. You know. So do you find that? Like working on late night, you see a lot of the writers are performing in sketches. Yeah. Uh, does it tend to be the ones that come from the improv background that are doing sketches, uh, or is it not, just um, whoever? It can, I think it, it really depends because, like, I know uh, some of the performers we've had here, like John Glazer and Kevin and and me and Brian McCann, we came out of uh, improv sketch backgrounds. But Brian also did stand up. Mm -hmm. um, Jose Arroyo was a stand up. Mike Sweeney. You know, so, so some of the People who do performing here also came out of the stand-up background, and um, I know there've been you know some great comic actors that have come out of uh, stand-up backgrounds. Uh, so I think we we've had a little of both, you know. Okay. And, uh, and some of the writers, the people who didn't even necessarily perform much before before coming here, um, are seem to really enjoy performing too. So it, it really just depends on. What people feel comfortable doing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it's yeah. not just that the show is hard up for cash and then you just put the writer there so they don't have to hire an extra actor. No, it's usually just if it feels thing. right. Like we usually yeah. will just try to cast the. We'll, we'll, we use a lot of our of outside actors. Um, we just try to just find the right person for the part. And if it's someone here, great. If it's someone, if it's one of our friends from UCB, or if it's a if it's an actor from the the more straight theatrical yeah. world, you just try to find the right person. Okay, so, so yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was wondering, what is more satisfying for you uh, on the show? Writing a sketch that gets a great reaction from the crowd or getting a big laugh from performing someone else's work? That's a good question. Um, I'm always happy when I, when I help to put across someone else's work um, the way they kind of envisioned yep. it and you just try to you do your best to kind of serve what they had in mind mm -hmm. and that's always really satisfying like if you feel like you delivered what they wanted um, I think that there, it's it's hard to compare in some ways it is it is so it is incredibly satisfying I must say though when, when you write something even if it's a, a one line joke in a desk piece for everyone's top yeah. jokes and if it's something you really were proud of and it happens to make it in and, and, and do well, I think that it's hard to beat that <laughs> just for the the sense of satisfaction from it. But uh but I, I love I love the the challenge of trying to like if I am asked to perform in someone else's piece of just hoping to if, if it comes off and they're happy with it afterwards then that it, it it is a great feeling like that you helped kinda just fulfill what they had in mind. Right. You know? So that's 